Well, we've come inland now from uh, Qingdao on the coast to Taishan, which is China's most sacred mountain. And it's considered very much to your spiritual advantage to climb it, which is what I, of course, intend to do. Uh, thoughtfully, they put some steps up the, uh, up the mountain, 6,293 of them. So, better get started. The Chinese believe that if you can climb the exalted mountain, you'll live to be a hundred. Pension fund managers would be pretty impressed by the turnout today. Good for you though, isn't it? It's a good thing to climb. Once you get to the top, you, you can... Uh, gods will look after you for a few years. See you coming again. <laughs> The stamina of the pilgrims is impressive. Taishan Mountain is 5,000 feet high, and well before the top, we're in amongst unmelted snow. I've lost count now, but I think it's about 200. About one. Is this travel or work, some Chinese ask me? To travel and work. You come, you... To see the country. You... Oh, to see the country. As much of the country as possible. Yeah. Today, Taishan, tomorrow, the world. Race you to the top. The only people who take it in their stride are porters, and they're carrying the heaviest weights. <laughs> Taishan Mountain has great meaning for all Chinese. The Taoists believe life begins where the sun rises. So this, the most easterly mountain in China, is the most sacred. Even oh. Chairman Mao struggled up here. At last, after two and a half hours, I reach the southern gate of heaven. Once through the august portals, relief is short-lived. Not only is the temperature in paradise well below zero, but the real heaven is another half mile away, up another hundred steps. Then there's immortalization archway to pass through, and you're there. Time to pay respects and give heartfelt thanks to the greatest deity on the mountain, the princess of the temple of the azure cloud. Thank you very much, very nice mountain.